So I'm going to come in with a little bit of a watercolor wash. For this guy here. I'm going to wet this guy. And that's okay that that blood, I will cover that up later. I want my sky to be transparent because I want it to be the lightest thing in the scene next to maybe the reflections in the water in the stream here. And this is one of the beautiful things about 100% cotton paper, is it's thirsty. Today I'm using ivory black. Um, white, Indian red, and yellow ochre. And then I'm using a little bit of ultramarine watercolor for the sky, and I might use a little bit more for the reflections in the water here. So now I want to come in with my darkest darks. I might do, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I might come in here with um, a wash of yellow ochre as well. To warm up the ground plane. Maybe a little bit of Indian red. Let me pre-wet this whole page. And just get a wash and get rid of the white. And then what I can do is I can come in with gouache and bring back the highlights. A lot of my darks are pretty doggone close to black. So I'm going to mix up some black gouache here and a little bit of that ivory red. Which Look how strong, or not ivory red, Indian red. Look how strong that is. Put a little bit of yellow in that. And I'm going to be using, you know, pretty wet washes here to block in these vertical planes. Um, and we can come back in later and refine some of these shapes. I'm okay with it bleeding a little bit. And I'm just gonna be starting loose. Add a little bit of white to that mixture. A little touch of red. A little bit of yellow ochre. Just to lighten that. Cool it off. Distance. 
descent verticals here. A little bit more white. I'm gonna mix some yellow ochre with white to get a little bit more of an opaque passage for this log that's hanging over the creek bed. And this might be too light, I can darken it later, but I definitely, I think I do need to darken that. Put in a little bit of black in there. There we go. And yes, and see how that black kind of greens it down, but I love the opacity here. This is what I needed to go over some of those transparent. And I might even darken that just a little bit more. There we go. I want to mix up some of these distant hill, distant trees, and we'll use a little bit of Indian red, a little bit of black, mix it with white, a little bit of yellow ochre, and basically I just kind of want a warmish gray to pop in, maybe even whiter than that, because I want them to recede with You know what I should do before I do that? I should actually put in the background scrum, scrabble, which is gonna be quite white and light in color. And I'm gonna dry brush that. Which I'm taking the brush and I'm drying it off on the on the rag and then Kind of using the side of the brush. This is why it's nice to have textured paper as well. A little bit more yellow ochre in that, just for some color variety. And this is how you can get, you know, textured, broken, And it helps to have textured paper here as well. And I can always reinforce these trees. And now I'm going to come in with slightly darker, slightly warmer for stuff closer to the ground because the shrubbery and stuff is going to be thicker closer to the ground, like so. So we can kind of layer these textures to, and I'm just gonna soften that because I don't, want that to kind of fade away into the distance. And I can paint over this shape, see? 
get a variety of textures. What I want to do is I want to get rid of this little halo here. And so I need to paint over that, over that edge. Come in with a little bit more white. And I'm still dry brushing it, but... Yeah, and I think I need that to be darker. A little bit more black. because I want these shapes to overlap and be irregular. And I can always reinforce these trees. I, in fact, I will reinforce these trees. There we go. So I love that texture more than what we had before. Okay, so now we'll go back to creating these distant tree trunks that are verticals. And so I want them to be a little bit darker, a little bit cooler, so a little bit more black, but still quite gray. A little bit more dark than that, just a hair. And this is the opposite of dry brushing. So now we're going to be using a wet brush. Let me, I think that color will work. Let me do a lighter version of that. So that we'll have the trees behind it are going to be this lighter color, purplish color. And then we'll do some trees in the front. And this is just to create that sense of depth. And I really want Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now with the darker color, And see, the darker ones can go over those other ones. And it seems like they're closer.
Okay, I think I want to get some of the blues from the sky into the water here. I think I also want to reinforce some of the darks that I'm seeing. And that happens a lot. Like there's a lot of back and forth with painting and sketching where The dark, pretty doggone dark. A little bit of red in that. Add just a touch of white to have that recede for the distant creek bed. Oh, but see, I lost it. So the little bit of white really knocks it back. that texture is useful as a shorthand. I think I want to bring in some branches over the top. Just to give a sense of like more depth. I like that. I like that. I want to bring in some of these golden highlights. A little bit of Indian red, mostly yellow ochre, and some white. But a lot of yellow ochre here. And I think I'm gonna dry brush it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna dry brush it. Need this plane to be pretty light, right about here. Kind of in that distance too. I 
I don't like that. I'm gonna knock that back again. I like leaving um, this transparent area here, but I do want to darken some of it just a little bit. Come in with some yellow ochre, some white, a little bit of black. So I'm saving that transparent section for just those highlights, which is kind of the beauty of it. And this sandbar kind of comes over here. Add a little bit of water, just make that paint a little bit more juicy. And I need just some of these sticks and things to cross this plane and give us depth. Let's come in a little bit more black, maybe a little bit of that ultramarine blue in there. And again, I'm gonna reinforce using the corner of this brush, put in some of these rocks that are close to us.
I'm going to be using this round brush now because it's going to let me to get a really fine point and cover a lot of territory. So we'll be using this. I'm going to darken under here. Try to create that depth. I think that's looking better. I want to mix some highlights now. And we're going to use a lot of white, but not pure white. I'm going to dip in just to um, a little bit to some yellow ochre, just a tad to color it, to warm it up. Still plenty of white. Okay, and we'll use this mixture for the highlights, but it's not, you can even see here, it's not quite pure white like the palette. It's a little bit colored. Maybe I'll color it just a little bit more. And this is still, this is gonna be very, very bright, but it's colored, giving that light highlights just a little bit of color temperature. I, th I think sometimes if you use pure white, it can look a little bit too artificial. I think that that looks pretty good. Just a little bit here. <laughs> I'm getting more paint on my fingers than I am on the... Okay, I like that. Just enough for those brightest bright highlights. Now, let's darken that a bit just a little bit more with yellow ochre. And this is still gonna be quite bright. Maybe I won't use that brush. Let me use a smaller brush. And we'll put in some of the tops of these rocks. Yeah.
And I'm going to use that same color, maybe slightly darker, maybe just a little bit of black in that. And we'll do some of the highlights on these sticks that are overhanging. And some of these on this side will be catching that light too. So it's important to keep thinking about like where's that light? Where's those light source? I really enjoyed how this came out. I like how light the sky is. I think like that in terms of tonal value, it's pretty good. It almost doesn't even look blue, but it is. And I like this reflection in the water and yeah, it was really fun.